see, Bryce wants to play for a big, I think Bryce wants to play for a big, like, iconic team. I think it, he wants to play for the Yankees or the Cubs or the Dodgers, you know, one of those types of teams. They're going to have the most money to spend. Uh, yes, he is friends with Chris Bryant, but they, the Cubs also have to pay Chris Bryant. I mean, can they afford two $400 million players? Right. That'll I, uh, test their budget. I doubt it. So it's just a rumor. So hold on. I, let me just get – Plus it's a year and a half away. Like right. I can't get that worked up over somebody who could potentially leave but Plus he's a Boris after client. 2018. Cool. And I mean, they always test the outside market. Outside of Strasburg, those guys are going to test the market and see what's out there, see what's available, try to drive up their price tag. Mm-hmm. I've resigned myself in the last year or so to acknowledging that he's probably going to leave, but it's more because <laughs> he's just going to get a massive <laughs> offer from someone else. That he probably won't get here. It's not because I believe, and I, you know, this is just pure speculation, that he's uh, in some way that. unhappy here, doesn't like DC. It appears to me he likes DC, completely embraced him. If they gave him the best deal, I believe he would stay here. The problem is the deal's probably going to be uh, till 2090, going to be <laughs> backward, <laughs> de- deferred money. You know, and, you know, nobody wants to yeah, deal with it. The learners love giving people deferred money. Don't count them so, out. So because of that, <laughs> I was just assumed we're going to lose him, but not because, well, he's got some burning desire to play in Chicago or New York or L.A. or something. I, I, I kind of reject that. could be true, but I just kind of reject that out of hand. It's all speculation. We don't yeah. know we don't. that he has this burning desire. We have no idea. Yeah. But I think Peter but Gammons is very plugged up. in, and I don't think Peter Gammons just throws stuff out at the wall. Yeah, no, I'm sure people are talking about it. But his, Boris probably tells people, and who knows, that might be the source, but he probably tells people that he wants to play in a bunch of different cities. Right. I mean, he just wants to leverage it. What he's going to do? Last week, the story came out but that I the Phillies want to make a play, but I right? I certainly wouldn't. Uh, I didn't see that, but I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm not getting worked up over it either. I mean, no, it's, why would you? It's year you and got half your away. life to live. Yeah. You're going to get upset about Bryce Harper potentially leaving oh. in a year and a half. Yeah, it's Please. not your decision. <laughs> his decision. I would just take the tack that I've taken. He's probably going to leave. Get over it. Let's just try to win so some win in the next year. Try, 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 try to win it this and year. And they've got a great opportunity this year because the National League is down. And, you know, they got a great opportunity to get there. By the way. Now, based on how they played in the playoffs the last few years, it's not Did great. I hear correctly, by the way, that the World Series is no longer <clears> determined <throat> by the stupid All-Star game? Yes, I think they're going That's back correct. to alternating years. Yeah, but like if best, you have the best record, best you have record. home field throughout. Best record. Oh, it which is the best record, which is the way it should be. Didn't it used to just be always alternating years? American League. Yes. 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 But that's just okay. about as bad as the All Star game. Yeah, it's that's sort of dumb too. Chance and random has nothing to do with it. How about you reward the team with the best record overall? I generally have no problem with that. However, they do play totally different schedules. It's fine. How it's do they play totally be different schedules? Kind of it's never going to be one hundred percent equal. They don't play the same teams. So what? <clears throat> Whoever wins the most games should host okay, and have home field throughout. I think it's if the you're best in a compromise. poopy division with crappy competition, you okay, have a much that's better not advantage. Your, that's not your team's fault. Well, it's better than the All-Star game determining it. Absolutely. And it's also better than every other year determining Right. It. That just seems silly, too. Yeah. I mean, reward I, I the teams the with the best opp- record. If that's, that's the way they're doing it, that's the best way to do it. Best record. Yeah, so check hard. on that, Drab, to confirm that. By the way, Grant Paulson was having a conniption on Twitter, I guess, about who was batting number two in the lineup. Well, he's not happy with who? Who do they have right not now? Not happy with Dusty Baker because Jason Worth went to the DL. 10-day DL, and I think they inserted the guy they called up Ryan as Rayburn. number two instead of, like, moving Rendon into the two spot. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, yeah, because he <laughs> – well, I think Grant's always had his thing for Rendon potentially hitting two – and I think Dusty doesn't like him at two. Yeah, I think the Grand Danny Show is still not really convinced that Dusty Baker is the right guy for the job. Yeah, they're they still in the Bud Black really respect shit. those 1,800 wins. How's Bud Black doing, by the way? <laughs> killing it with the Rockies. Look at their record. It's killing our sweat that's, bat. That's the whole deal. What was that, Drabby? Uh, the home field advantage will be determined by the regular season records of the two pennant winners. Okay. As it All should right, well, be. That makes sense. That only makes that's, sense. That's the best record. Right. Um, but Rendon hit a home Rend- run last night. Rendon did hit a homer. So he bit, what did he hit? Six? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so he hit six. Weeders at seven. Taylor Rayburn, eight. Now Rayburn's a vet. I mean, Rayburn's like 36, 37 years old. He's been in the league forever. I mean, I don't know why he decides to hit him too. But it's, there's at six, you know guys are going to be on base. You know what I mean? You know guys, 
I mean, who hit two last night? Rayburn, then Harper, Zimmerman, Murph, Rendon. I mean, there's no weak spot there. Weeders, Taylor. They won the game. Right. What are people complaining about? No, GP just has always had a – he. Just, I, GP, whatever reason, likes Rendon, I think, at two. Or at least wants it to be considered there. I've seen him tweeting about that. Um, if I were the manager, I probably would hit Rendon, too, as well. But Dusty Baker knows a little bit more about baseball yeah. than GP. If I were, if I were the manager, I would have to ask the bench coach to fill out the lineup card for me. Here, <laughs> say, who's hitting where? Uh, I'm just figurehead. Here are the tweets. Hook me. Good thing Dusty is hitting a newly recalled 4A injury replacement second. I was worried he'd move one of his stellar bats, move up in the order. Hitters that would make more sense hitting in second than Rayburn. Harper, Murphy, Zim, Rendon, and probably even Taylor at this point. Hmm. Well, I guess he just doesn't want to mess with what's been working. Who knows? Yeah, they won the game. Plus, he's really passionate about the Nats.